Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is July the 8th. It's been quite some time since I've got back in front of the camera and talked to you guys and gone over any kind of tips or anything uh, as far as bass fishing. And now that we're here in the heat of the summer, uh, for a lot of people around the country here in July in North Carolina, it is hot. <clears throat> right now we're looking at a high of 90, 91 with the real air temp feels like 104 so what i want to do is kind of go over some tips and techniques about some bass fishing that's been working for me here in north carolina and should work for a lot of people throughout the country so uh guys we're gonna jump right into it first step is we're gonna work top water <clears throat> we're gonna go for two lures first of all frogs and jigs. I'm gonna go over where to use them and how. So first off we're gonna go with the top water frog. Alright guys, the frog. First of all we're gonna go over the rod, the reel, the line, and my style of frogs that I like to use that can pretty much get it all done as far as walking and popping. So here we have it is one of my favorites. Well, the only favorite rod I have. The Denali Covert. And this rod in particular is not actually meant for frogging. It's actually a Carolina rig rod. It's a seven foot four heavy action. And it's got that fast tip which allows me to walk that frog just like I needed to. And I have that paired it with 50 pound piston fun braid. Very inexpensive braid. I think I might have got about 300 yards for $20 or something like that. I'm not I'm not quite sure, but I'll see if I can put that in the link. Put it in the description below for you guys to check out. Then the reel. The Shimano Cronart. HG 151HG high gear. I have it in the left left hand retrieve. I'm actually right handed, but I feel a whole lot comfortable retrieving with my left hand. High gear is a must as far as your top waters to, to get those fish out of uh, heavy vegetation or out of brush, wherever they may be, wherever you want to put this frog so you won't get tangled up and lose that fish. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got the rod out of the way, seven foot four. I go seven foot three to seven six at seven foot three minimum seven six max uh, as far as rod length i'm comfortable with the seven foot four i have and uh it just works wonderful for me excuse that guy that's my phone but anyway i got my frog here i have a spro popping frog pretty standard as far as just colors uh you can try any colors that you want based off the vegetation, the water clarity, and the, the actual colors of the frogs that may be living in the area that you're fishing. Now, mind you, they do, they're not gonna see the top of that frog. What they're gonna see is the bottom. So I'll use this one quite a bit and it works well. <clears throat> Again, here we go, I got a, a black and white one. Black on the bottom, white on the top. Same company, this is a walking frog, this is a popping frog. I prefer to use this one quite often because I can get a little bit more out of it. So I can walk it just as well as I can with that, that walking frog. Then it's got that little cup there that allows you to get a little bit more this water displacement on top of the water. So that's the rod, the reel, and the line. What we're going to do right now is jump right into a couple of clips. Actually, just one clip that I have. I'm fishing a local lake and I'm fishing the shaded lines and this is kind of early in the, in the in the morning before 12 and getting on a pretty decent top water bite and mind you guys top water fishing summertime may not get you a lot of bites throughout the day when it's hot but it can get you quality bites that's the key so guys here we go i'm gonna jump right into it hope you guys enjoy
There we go. Mr. Froggy. All right, guys. So that's the frog. We're going to jump into another top water selection that you can use as far as catching quality bass in the summertime. It doesn't always have to be a frog. It can be a spook. Or it can be a stutter step. This is something that I tried only once. And I picked a certain time of the day to try it. <clears throat> kind of midday. And the conditions were still summertime. Of course, this was recently. And I'm going to throw a clip in there for you guys to check out. And what I did was I sat in my car and waited for the rain to pass. So when the rain came, it kind of cooled off the surface of the water. Which in my mind, I kind of felt like, okay, some of these summer bass, they're already in post spawn for one. <clears throat> for two, they could be either sitting on the bottom or sitting in the shade, or they could be suspended high in the water column, ready to feed any time of the day. And so I actually caught a decent sized post spawn, big post spawn, five pound bass, which in my eyes, I think she should have been a little bit bigger because she was very long. Um, I caught her in the middle of the water, in the middle of the water column, like actually in the middle of the lake where I was fishing. It's kind of like as a pond, but it's called Matthew's Lake, but it's, it's actually a pretty decent size, considered the lake. So you don't always have to fish your top with lures in the shade or around brush. You can catch them with walking baits, such as this stutter step in open water. That's what I was looking for. So here's another clip, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Check this one out. After we get back, we're gonna jump into another lure. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, yes. Mm. Solid fish. Yes. Put on the scale. Five or eight guys. Five pounds, eight ounces. Get a picture of that. Nice fish. Nice one. All right, guys. Let's get the release on this big girl. Definitely, definitely post spawn. Yes. Mm. All right, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that small clip of that nice-sized bass. 
uh, from start to finish. It was definitely epic. It was the only bite I had that day. And uh, it's just worth it to try and go out and keep your rod and reel with you. Keep something that you know is a high percentage catching machine <clears throat> any time of the day. You just stop by your local pond, or reservoir, or lake, or wherever you want to fish and fish for a few minutes to see what you can do. That's what I did. I fished for about 15, 20 minutes. Caught it a nice size bass. So, on to the next lure. It's one of my favorites, which has been one of my favorites for a very long time. And I have grown to love it. And I've grown to just, just learn more about it. <clears throat> and that is the jig. Now this jig in particular is made, handmade by Twins Fishing. Um, you can check them out on my Instagram, on their Instagram, I'm sorry. And some of my Instagram videos <clears throat> that I've put up on Instagram to help promote their brand. You can check it out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out my Instagram clips, guys. And I'll put a link down below for their Instagram as well. But this particular jig is a football jig. The reason why I like this football jig is <clears throat> you can cast it and you can flip it. Um, I actually put this jig in places, high percentage places, summertime. Uh, in my mind, I know summertime, one of two things is going to happen. The bass are going to either be shallow early in the morning or deep midday. Or third thing, they're going to be hanging on brush. And when I mean on brush, is laid out trees stumps uh transition points where there's just small rocks big rock gravel stuff like that wood and rock kind of mixed in that's where they're going to be feeding and so lately i've been catching some pretty decent quality bass fishing brown lay downs this one in particular is a three eighths ounce football head jig and you see the trailer Got that black and blue. Nothing too big, nothing too bulky. It's got a, a extra large skirt on it, so it allows it to fall slower. <clears throat> and I got it paired up on a rod I've had for a very long time. Just a simple Bass Pro Shops graphite. Seven foot, medium heavy. And if you want to move it to a half ounce, you want to go to a seven foot three minimum. And seven six max, I believe. Uh, medium heavy. I got a 15 pound P line fluorocarbon with a Shimano, what is a Shimano Canaan 631 gear ratio. Now you can move up your gear ratio size, it's just whatever your comfort level is. I like to work my jigs fairly, not slow, but work it nice and easy in every little area I pitch them in, especially around lay downs. So, Guys, here's a couple more clips. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these. One is going to be flipping to a, a nice size lay down, catching a decent sized fish, and another one fishing a long, deep bluff wall. So, guys, check that out, and I'll be right, right, through, right back with you.
That's a keeper, bro. That's a good fish. Good God oh my. Oh my God. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Woo. Yo. Oh my God. That might be a PB right there. Yep. I told you. What I tell you. Ah. Slow and deep. Thanks. <clears throat> Yeah, bro. He's been caught before. Unless that was you. That was me. Yo, when you let him jump, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks. I'm throwing three eights. Bigger presentation. Mm hmm. It's about a four pounder. Think so? She might be a little shy of five though. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, enjoyed, and hopefully, hopefully, guys, hope you learned something from these tactics and tips of how I've been catching fish lately um, as far as summertime bass fishing. So, guys, don't be afraid to get on the water, try some of these tactics out. If you want, message me or hit me up on in my DM as far as Instagram. Comment down below, ask any questions you'd like, guys. Um, and like I said uh, before I will be trying to do some of these videos after each video I'll come in and do like a overview kind of what I did how I caught the fish and why and where so guys as always like comment and subscribe hit that uh, notification bell share my videos and I will catch you guys on the next episode peace